How do we go from rocks and dirt to making Bluetooth? Well, this is how. It started with early stone tools. Then we conquered fire. Then we learned how to craft and build huts and houses. Then came the agricultural revolution. We learned how to grow food, store it, and even survive longer. Then we discovered rare metals, stronger tools that made farming more efficient. Then population exploded. Small tribes became villages. Villages became towns. Then came writing. Along with writing came mechanics. And then the world was never the same. The printing press made knowledge available at a massive scale. That scale powered the industrial revolution. Then steam engines changed everything. Then electricity gave us wired communication. Then the telegraph sent us information instantly. Then radio waves let sound travel through invisible frequencies. Then the telephone brought voices worldwide. Then computers combined electricity, math, and language. And the networks connected computers globally. Processors got smaller, faster, and eventually we learned how to send data through radio waves. That's Bluetooth. And the funny thing is the name Bluetooth comes from a Viking king named Harold Bluetooth, who united two different tribes just like the tech connects two different devices. It was designed to be low power so phones and headphones and accessories could stay connected without killing your battery. Thanks for watching.